We are a nation of animal lovers. So said Environment Minister Mark Spencer last week. Then moments later, announced that the government's flagship animal welfare bill for kept animals was being ditched. Two years after it was first introduced by then Environment Secretary George Eustace, Conservative MP Andrea Jenkins is planning a petition to debate bringing back the bill. We must deliver on these. I mean, we're a nation of animal lovers. And when we saw that the net migration targets were dropped, um, which was a manifesto commitment, and now this, you know, we, we need to... In, um, we need to get the confidence and trust of the British people, and so therefore I think we should deliver on our manifesto promises. Under Boris Johnson, the Conservatives had made animal welfare a priority. His wife Carrie is a passionate animal lover and has worked for the conservation charities the Aspinall Foundation and Oceana. Their dog Dylan was rescued from a Welsh puppy farm. Zach Goldsmith perhaps the original vote blue, go green Tory, was an environment minister. And Johnson's father, Stanley, is a long-standing campaigner. Three million whales were killed. So the Conservative manifesto in 2019 included promises to crack down on puppy smuggling, ban primates being kept as pets, and, notably, ban live animal exports something that was impossible as members of the European Union. But a Brexit freedom now. The bill would have made good on all these promises. Unfortunately, this multi-issue nature means that there's been considerable scope creep. The bill risks being extended far beyond the original commitments. During last year's Conservative leadership campaign, Rishi Sunak pledged his support. But the government has now dropped it, blaming the opposition for playing political games concerned they would try to strengthen the ban on hunting, a topic which still divides Tory MPs. The news was widely condemned, and not just by animal charities and opposition MPs. The government maintains the key measures will still be brought in. Here's Mark Spencer again. Therefore, we'll be taking forward measures in the Kept Animals Bill individually during the remainder of this parliament. With a general election approaching, the government is running out of time to make good on its promises. Politicians, charities and animal lovers up and down Britain will be watching. Catherine Forster, GB News.